somebody had his hand up. The two people. I'll ask you first, and then yeah. come. Tell us your name and ask the question. Hi, my name is Navid Gupta. Yeah. Here is my question. We say that Brahman is the supreme reality. Is the constant experience of anahat nad or the unstruck sound during the waking state an experience of nirguna Brahman? And the second question is, the answer to the question, who am I? It seems to point towards silence. My question is whether the anahat nad is the answer to this question or is it not an answerable question altogether? All right, the anahat dhvani which he referred to is a mystical experience. It literally, it means the unstruck sound. So sound is always meant by the contact between two things. Just now we heard the clicking of a door, this one. This is a struck sound, ahata. But anahata means that which is unstruck. This is a beautiful concept and it's actually an experience. It's actually like a sound which you can hear, but um, it's not a produced sound. It is said to be the um, eternal background uh, uh, vibration of the universe. Let's put it this way. There's a whole theory of that of which I do not know much. But it, point, it is not the Ad Advaitic Brahman. It points to the Advaitic Brahman. It represents the Advaitic Brahman. Because the Advaitic Brahman is not a particular experience. It's not a particular mystical experience. So suppose you do not experience that anahata, Are you, can you still be enlightened? Yes. Suppose you do experience that anahata dhvani, uh, are you uh, enlightened? May not be. But it's a very advanced stage in spiritual experience. There was a Swami in our order, I never met him, but I've heard about him, a disciple of the Holy Mother, Swami uh, Shantananda. He used to hear this. Continuously without a break. And uh, he asked the Holy Mother once, Masharada, this is my experience, is it true? Yeah. And uh, she said, yes, my child, what you are, what you are experiencing is, is, is right. So it's a very advanced spiritual experience, mystical experience, no doubt. And he used to experience that, he used to uh, hear it. In later life, I've heard from senior monks, he would ask visitors, do you hear something? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I met one person who hears this. I will not share the name because he's still there. A very, in a very interesting person. He's a multimillionaire. He is um, um, he's very young and uh, very, uh, he is a very well-known motivational speaker and um, very deeply interested in Okay, even if you know him, don't tell the name. <laughs> Very deeply interested in non-dualism, in Advaita Vedanta. And we had a long talk about this. One of the subjects which came up was this one. And then he told me that he, uh, he hears this and he has been hearing it for a, for a long time. That's when he became transformed after this experience. And he's been looking uh, towards the, trying to meet other people and trying to get explanations of this. Let me tell you a little story I, I just remembered. I mentioned Swami Shantananda, the one who always heard the, the Anahata, the disciple of Masharada. He, um, I've heard this from senior Swamis who have met him actually. Uh, he was very childlike, like a little child. And uh, he sort of seemed to inhabit two worlds. I guess that will happen to you if you're continuously hearing the primal sound of the universe. So. Um, for example, there are one or two stories about him which I'll share. How how childlike and it's like a like a like a radiant little boy, you know. So once he asked one of the sevaks, one of the younger monks who was serving him, um, "Why don't I see Swami Virajananda?" He said, "Kali Krishna Maharaj." Swami Virajananda was the guru of Swami Tathagatananda. He was the president of the order. He said, oh, why don't I see him? I haven't seen him for quite some time. And the monk said, but Swami Virajananda passed away 20 years ago. <laughs> he said, ah, that's why I haven't seen him. <laughs> In Bengali, <laughs> That was one. Another time, 
it, many people would come to meet him. But uh, it, it would depend whom he would talk to. It's interesting. Maybe he would talk to a little kid. And maybe a very important person comes to meet him. He wouldn't even talk. And it so happened that uh, this man was very rich and powerful and all. And he came. He obviously had some kind of ulterior desire in his mind which he wanted to be fulfilled by the blessings of this Swami. So he came, came and he started, he did salutations and he started talking in a very disarming way. And, and the Swami just kept quiet, just sat with his eyes closed. After 15 minutes, this man asked a few questions and kept on asking Swami, Swami. The Swami didn't open his eyes. And then this fine man finally got disheartened and he bowed down <laughs> and he walked away. And the m others were watching. The moment he walked away, the Swami's eyes flew open with, a, with the cutest smile, he said, Look how I tricked him. <laughs> Look how I fooled him. We don't know what was going on there, the subtext there. But maybe that person had some strong world, worldly desire which he wanted. And he could be the most unworldly person. Uh, he, he had this question, he would ask anybody who's a household person in the world, you know. He was very sympathetic. So he would ask questions like, um, what do you do? Yes, this is my job. Are you earning enough for your needs? In Bengali, he would say, chole jai to. <laughs> is your samsara, can you, can you take care of your samsara? Are you earning enough for your needs? Is it all right? So one day comes this chief justice of the high court. <laughs> And with his flunkies running around and somebody rushed ahead to tell the Swami, Swami, this guy, this person is coming. He's the chief justice. It's like a, like a um, really big person, you know. He's coming to meet you and talk with you. Swami said, yes. And Swami, when the person came, Swami said, what do you do? And somebody else said, Swami, he's the chief justice of the, of the high court of, uh, of, of the state. And uh, the Swami said, do you earn enough to take care of your... <laughs> <laughs> He was absolutely unmoved by it. <laughs> yes.